welcome back to another amazing pinball video. Now, in the last few videos, we've seen this system here. And I was controlling the bumpers and the slingshot mechanisms with this relay and capacitor system. It worked, but as I mentioned before, it's very, very, very bad pinball practice. But we have better things in store. Over here, in this amazing mad scientist brew, we have several key components that make up a new metal oxide field effect transistor or MOSFET solenoid control circuit. So here we have a 5 volt power supply, which is actually an old computer power supply. Over here we have my newly assembled 24 volt power supply and a very good capacitor that goes with that. We have a test bumper, which has a switch and a solenoid in it, which will be good for testing. And then we have this newly assembled circuit. Now it's somewhat hard to see, but if you can get a look at it, there's the metal oxide field effect transistor, which is the big black thing, and then there's the resistor, which is sort of a pull-down resistor in the circuit. So basically the way this works is, if you can see over here on the computer screen, this transistor has a gate, a drain, and a source. We have the power from the solenoid going into the drain and then down to ground. The source is connected to the ground. The 5 volt signal from the switch comes into the gate and then goes to source. So basically, when it's all done, we have a transistor that can use 5 volts to switch 24 volts. And because of that, we can completely do, with the do away with the relays and still have this working system. It works pretty well in my opinion. So as you can see down there, we have a switch. All that's going through that switch is 5 volts. But what's going through this solenoid right here is 24 volts because of the amazing power of these special transistors. They're actually not that expensive. In fact, they're cheaper than relays. And they do the trick surprisingly well. This circuit worked pretty much the first time. So, you know, you drop the ball in there and it jumps away. And of course, if I had these installed in the, the pinball game, it would... Uh, jump around on the play field when it hits. So, it works pretty well. This circuit will be applicable not only for the bumpers, but also for the slingshot mechanisms and possibly some other uh, computer-controlled some, some computer controlled circuits too. So, because I've got this now, I can just duplicate this same MOSFET circuit five times and have the circuitry necessary to drive three bumpers and two slingshot mechanisms. And that will be pretty awesome when I have all that hooked up. Maybe not today, but maybe in a couple days. So that's the end of this video. Be sure and check back soon, and if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to my channel.